Hello and welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we are celebrating the CMA has finally given full approval to the Activision, um, Microsoft Activision Blizzard deal. So it should be any minute now that Microsoft and Activision will come out and declare that this deal is done. They've already uh, stopped trading um, as of 7.50 e, um, Eastern time. Uh, yet yesterday, well, 7:30 Eastern time yesterday, last night, um, for for the trading. There's no more trading for Activision Blizzard stock. Uh, this is pretty exciting, man, to see Microsoft go out of their way to to like start investing in 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 buying studios in securing more content for Xbox gamers. This is exciting, man. I don't think we've ever seen. Microsoft go this far in on the Xbox platform. I mean, we've got people on the other side trying to say that Microsoft is getting out of the business. They're not going to be doing uh, consoles anymore. They're not going to be doing any of this stuff. But I mean, everything that Microsoft has done this generation has literally proved that Microsoft is here. They're here for the gamers. They really do want to bring more games to, to more people. I do. I've believed in the Microsoft. Um, I've I've believed in Xbox's vision since getting my what's it? Well, pretty much since Game Pass came out, man. As a young kid, I'd have, I'd have to go and rent my video games because I couldn't buy them. I didn't have a freaking job. So the the fact that the fact that Microsoft is is bringing this much content to Game Pass that's incredible that's incredible that that just speaks volumes to the fact that yes man they want people to be able to play anywhere on whatever device they want it, it, except for playstation i mean if if playstation was smart they would let <laughs> game pass come to playstation 2 i well i don't know if that i don't know if that would be smart but you know it 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 just goes to show you that like gaming is changing like this is going to be the future. The future of games is yeah, it it it's what's it, what's it called, man? It's it's not it's not that it's like set in stone anymore. You know what I mean? It's like you'd buy your console, you'd buy your game. Um the games that you would buy would would subsidize the cost of your console, you know, both both companies would be taking would be taking a loss at it. Um, you've seen recently with the new PlayStation Slim that's coming out that they're that they're not lowering the prices this generation. They're not making the money back on these um, these heavily funded AAA games. They they they're losing money now. <laughs> they're, they're they're not selling enough copies, and it's yeah, dude. I I do kind of think that sub subscription services are the future. Now here's my thing though. I still like to buy and own my video games, so I I do I do want that to still always be an option. And you know, for those people that want to have a that want to have a console and be able to still continue to buy games, I, I want that to always be an option for them because I don't think streaming is necessarily the answer. But being able to like download the game and play it and still have like that. Um, that that full game interaction you know i i i do kind of fear someday that games are going to be more like like mobile games but at the same time you see technology moving so fast and 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 and, and getting so good that we've got games that we've never even imagined i mean we obviously imagined but we're we've got those games now we've got the visuals we've got the games we like th that we would imagine when we were you know side scrolling mario across the screen you know like oh, well, i don't think we were imagining that just yet i think i think back then when we were playing regular nintendo and super nintendo i was still imagining you know like 2d side scrolling 2d side scrolling games into the future and then we got you know like the original playstation and the nintendo 64 and then we started seeing the 3d realm gaming has changed so much in my lifetime just just over you know 30 38 years now that, that i've been playing video games it's <laughs> it never ceases to amaze me you know but but i don't think we've had like a drastic change in the in the way video games have been for like the last few generations so i do think that this right here 
we're on the cusp of something new. We are. And having somebody like Microsoft be able to continue to invest um, with, 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 a, with a platform like Game Pass, that just gives them so many more options than the old model that, that just isn't working anymore. You know, like the build the game, sell it. It's taking too long. First of all, it takes too long to build these big AAA games. Um, what's cool five years ago might not be cool five years now when it launches. So the uh, the amount of money that these publishers and that these developers are are continuing to spend to build these games, it, it's getting more and more risky. So the fact that Microsoft having Xbox Game Pass, that they can, uh, you, you know, put out a game. Um, it doesn't need to be like a super high budget, but the, um, they've, they've, with all the developers they've got now, they can get that residual income from, from Game Pass. You know, everybody's paying for it. Uh, the money's coming in. They're making that money every month, uh, regardless. So they're, they're making that money every month. Now, if you take that and you look at all the developers, you know, if a developer puts out a game, um, say, say they put out, you know, Redfall. Redfall doesn't do too well. Um, Arcane isn't going to get as much funding as they did for that game. So that money's going to go to games that are, that, that are good. You know what I mean? To the developers that are producing solid games, those developers will get more funding, but they'll, they'll all kind of just still get like a baseline funding to start their projects. And that gives them the opportunity to, to compete. Now, You'll have all the developers competing for those for those funds to make better games, and you know they'll they'll still be able to continue making things and learning and building their building their craft. This is such an amazing like, if I mean if if this is the way Microsoft is running it, this is the ultimate way to produce top quality content while still being able to fund it and being able to see where that money's going to be better spent versus where it's going to be like okay yeah you guys just make this work on your craft this is the the baseline budget and then that budget goes up every consecutive hit you know if they can make something out of nothing um it it, it that's to me that's like like that is genius for creating video games and for creating content that people want to play instead of just being like, yeah, you're guaranteed this $500 budget that might or might not work out in the end. This, this is, this is incredible. Like the way that Microsoft is doing this and, and I wish more people would wake up and see this and be like, yeah, you know what? That's right, man. It like, if you look at Sony, like right now, Sony's struggling because they kind of have their back to the wall f f having to, having to put out these games and we, and we've seen it like, we'll see Spider-Man here in a couple of weeks, but, um, it, it just goes to show you that like what, what's going on is, uh, yeah, this is awesome, man. The Xbox is going to own Activision. That's just more games, more content into game pass, more, more accessibility for, for everybody else around the world to be able to have access to those games. This is incredible. So, if you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll probably end up doing a live stream later tonight talking some more about this, but I just wanted to get a short video out before I go to work, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.